Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another unexpected surprise episode of Junkyard Digs. Last night I hopped in the truck, hauled the satellite all the way down to Tennessee at Dylan McCool's place where I am now. And on the way down I came across the 79 AMC Concorde for a good price in excellent shape on Marketplace. In the hour it took us to get this down to Dylan's, where we'll be leaving the truck and trailer, uh, I decided that, hey, you know what's happening here this week? Power tour, which I was planning on doing like the first day of. Well, we've decided to go balls out and long haul this car that we've literally never driven. Let's get it going. We just bought this car pretty much sight on scene, saw it on Marketplace, swung by. I haven't even sat in it. I haven't even opened the door or anything myself. These guys right here, Creek and Scott, sold it to me. They were nice enough to bring it all the way down to Dylan's place so that I didn't have to drive an hour north and pick it up with the trailer. And in that time, I decided, you know what? Hell, I've already done most of the drive. Let's take this on the Hot Rod Power Tour 2022 Long Haul, which is five days of driving city to city with some of the craziest cars around and all of our friends. So without further ado, Thank you guys very much for bringing this down. No made, problem, man. Made our maybe great, maybe miserable week possible. We'll see. Ah, <laughs> oh, it should be fun. Good car for the drive. <laughs> oh yeah, these. I'm already familiar with the 4.2 and the drive line and everything, so it's just a smaller two-wheel drive Eagle. Yeah, yeah. In way better shape. <laughs> Before we get too much further in this, I need to apologize if this video is a little rushed and crazy. This was literally supposed to be a three-day trip. Bring the car down. Go to the first day of power tour with my friends take the car home. And now it's a seven day trip because there's five days of power tour coming up and we're leaving in a couple hours and I need to get this car that I've literally still never sat in ready to go. So as you can see, this thing is absolutely cherry. This is 79 AMC Concorde. It's got the same inline six 4.2 liter that the Eagle has, same transmission, probably the same rear axle, pretty much the exact same dash, but I'm very familiar with most of this already. So I should be good on that front. I know what parts to look for because if you know anything about AMC, they didn't use their own parts. Ooh, that's hot. So if we look under here, we have a York AC pump. First thing that pops into my view here, that's probably off a of Ford. My Eagle's a Ford, but that looks to be a GM master cylinder and booster. I believe that's a GM wiper control, GM cruise control, Ford starter solenoid. Ford DuraSpark ignition system, Ford starter, uh, Ford or GM power steering pump. Those, those run either way. That's a GM alternator down there. The engine itself is straight out of a Jeep. This is a 4.2 liter from the era. Overall though, under the hood, very simple stuff here. I might as well pack the car. All right, that's done. This wasn't supposed to be a week trip, but thankfully I brought two pair of underwear, so we should be good for a month. What do you think? It's a car. <laughs> I like Sweet, it. I got it right. <laughs> I was nervous I bought the wrong thing. Yeah, you didn't come home with a toaster oven. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty nice. I like it. What does DL mean? Um, don't look. Uh, does laps. Dylan's a loser. I don't know. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so you basically stole this thing. If I, I had to. I don't know. It I, it's, it's a hard call because like eagles go for nothing or a lot. So I'm assuming these are an even more extreme nothing or a lot because so, the Eagles are It's basically an Eagle, solid. just not all the cool stuff, right? No, more so the Eagle's basically this as a wagon and four-wheel drive. Well, it's indestructible, yep. of course. You can't hurt yourself if you only make 65 horsepower. <laughs> you say that. Somebody really took the time to make that right, didn't they? How safe is that to route the fuel line up and over it's jeep things man <laughs> must be just jeep things Violently you did wrong. drive it before you bought it right no oh nope i didn't even open the door i didn't even look inside i forgot <laughs> there's no headliner he's got four wheels yep i was like Good enough i was like wow there's no rust let's go it is clean. put it on the trailer <laughs> it's very clean actually how is your week preparing for power tour been terrible. <laughs> terrible, terrible 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 it's never good see i've learned something from kevin is just don't care until the day of i've been working on this car for months now I'm taking my Challenger because I did it last year and it was perfectly fine. So this was supposed to soon. go, right? It was supposed to go. It ran. It was running great. Got everything done. And the brakes Friday night did not want to bleed. And at that point I said, forget it. I'm over it. I'm just going to do it when I get back. So were these the factory wheels? Because I had a Ram Truck or a Trail Duster no that idea. had the exact same. And I even have, I have the hubcaps to those wheels. I don't think they are. Don't think so? Those look like something that costs more than the whole car. 
Even with under the vinyl top, it's still not so, rusty or anything. Yeah, the vinyl is peeling, but Chrysler, being so cheap, doesn't have a liner or anything. It's just vinyl glued right onto to the, the roof. At least so there's painted, nothing though. for the moisture to get under. It's just, it's just metal. Oh, oh that hurts. Hey, the, that hurts so much. the less is on here, the better for the car. By the end of the week, this is going to be just like skint back <laughs> to here. It's going to be straight up nothing. One good thing about this versus the Eagle, you cannot engine swap the Eagle easily because of the front differential bolts to the side of the block. Oh. <laughs> There's a mount over here that goes all the way down and holds the side of the front differential. Safe. This does not have that. So I could lick and stick a 318 or anything in there, right? We doing that before we leave? I was gonna say you got any laying around. I was throwing I've it. Got like seventeen of them. So. <laughs> I'll get the wrenches. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Let's bleed the brakes and then I want to go for a ride. In it. Okay, we'll get the rear up in the air and pump it twice and realize that we didn't need to do any of that. And we'll go for a ride. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Well, they're full. These rubbers need pushed back in. Yep, they're supposed to be in like that, and then as the fluid level lowers, they extend to uh, take up the volume. Not going to say that front fluid looks good, <laughs> because it does not, but it looks full. We're going to take a quick pause from the brakes to talk about a phenomenon that I haven't been able to show in person yet. Uh, ironically, we see it the most on Power Tour because it's always the hottest week of the entire year. When an engine gets warm, your intake and everything will become warm, hot, a couple hundred degrees. It heat soaks the entire engine, but you shut that engine off and it really heat soaks because now instead of drawing cool air through the carburetor, the hot air is able to rise out and your carburetor itself becomes warm. When this happens, the very volatile fuel in the fuel bowl will then boil. And if you listen really carefully, you can hear it. If we look into our carb, we will see that that jet is wet. There's some fuel on that back wall there. Um, this venturi is wet. Uh, I checked when I parked it because I, I noticed that this had been flooding out when I shut it off and I checked and those were both dry. But as it sat here and warmed up more and more with the hot air coming out of the engine, it has boiled and that boiling fuel will expand and flood into the motor. This isn't a huge problem if you know how to start your carbureted car when it's hot. You'll see there's a lot of car shows when people don't drive their carbureted car a lot. They come up, shut it off, and then they crank and crank and crank, bump and bump and pump and it's flooded out and it won't start and they think it needs more fuel. What you need to do is take your foot, pull it all the way to the floor, crank it, and then once it starts popping off, let off the key and let your foot up. Exhibit A. That one was a little violent because <laughs> I was distracted by something, but she's running. Ways around that, uh, you can put a phenolic spacer between your intake in your carburetor. That's more common on four barrels. I can't really do that for this. No one makes them. Uh, but that plastic or wood or whatever the material is for your spacer will help as a heat divider between that high intake and the bottom of the carburetor. So yeah, basically I just wanted to show you guys when your carburetor car is hot and you go to fire it back up, put your foot on the floor and once it pops off, let off the key, let off the gas and it'll clear all that extra fuel out and run just fine. All right, back to brakes. All right, up, down. Well, there was no air in that one. <laughs> Let's try the other side. That one might have had a little air. No, it's perfectly clean fluid. <laughs> All right, those are done. I let out that much and had no air. So now you have to drink it. That's what the silly straws for. You have to be. You have to become part of the car. <laughs> Inhale the fluids. Well, uh, brakes are done. Should we go for a little drive? Yes. This is definitely a GM column. Oh, has it got a square key and a round key? I don't, yeah. But I yep, don't. I just. <laughs> oh, this is a column shift. But is it supposed to be? It's the square key. I lied, maybe. Oh, nope. well, there we go. Oh, the belt. That was the other thing. <laughs> I remember now. suddenly reminded. Oh, yeah, the brake light's on. Is that on before? Oh, you know what else is on? The lens cap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it was not. Oh. Yay! It's I fixed. fixed it. I was gonna say push it. It's probably the proportioning valve. It's such a small car that I can. Oh, look like a headliner. Yeah, I just well, there is a headliner, but. What'd you I think do? We bottom. We beached it. What? On that? It's even cut. Out of the way, people. <laughs> ah, the oh. brake lights on again. 
Oh no. <laughs> well, we're off to a good start for power tour. So that wasn't on before. No. Okay. Which I don't know why it would be not. We just unplugged the proportion valve. We'll so just, just see unplug how the, the brake lines. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't want me to do a rocker? Yes, that I am positive. Of. You're positive. Yes. I've gotten pretty good on this little gravel drive. I have all my belongings in here. My three pairs of underwear for the month. Well, it did. <laughs> I don't know why the brake lights on now. I knew I shouldn't have bled the brakes. That's the problem. You tried. You should have just left it alone. Not even looked under the hood. I, I mean, honestly, it runs really nice. I'm impressed by that. You have to stand on it for it to do it, like. Like move the floorboard out of the way with the pedal for it to really do anything. <laughs> as long as you can do the speed limit, we're fine. He said it'll go up to 90 before it starts shaking. So I, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that either. It's kind of a heavy pedal, but I don't think it's going to give you a... Well, we didn't check the level either. I did. Oh, you did? Not afterwards, oh. but I only let out that much. Out of you or the car? The, the car. Okay. Out of the brakes. <laughs> what is a Concord? Is that a bird? Is that a, isn't it a grape? Right? We have is very it, different ideas of what a Concorde isn't is. Isn't that kind of plain, too? Yes. It's a bird. Isn't it a bird? Yeah, it's named after... Did you say a grape? There, isn't there a Concorde? <laughs> Why did they name it after a big, ugly vulture? Or a, <laughs> or a grape or an airplane? It might be a big, ugly vulture if you think about it. It is harvesting the scraps of others because it's an AMC. Oh! oh. oh a little more bleeding of the brakes in the rear has got our light to turn off and our pedal feels way better. Sure enough, suddenly there was a bunch of air in there. Next up, I've noticed our vacuum advance is unplugged and I do not see a hose for it, so time to get creative. All right, so I've decided to be good to the environment and not rip this off yet. I'll leave the charcoal canister and whatnot for now. This line, pretty sure it's supposed to run under a PCV. It was not, uh, now it does. This one goes to either our upper or lower vent. Still need to confirm that. And this one that was running to the PCV is probably the one that needs to run to our vacuum advance, seeing that he's being fed what I believe is ported vacuum. So get that plugged in and should be ready for the road, really. All we are waiting on now is for good old Mike to show up. There he is. Hey, he's got his hat. He's got the hat. You made it. Holy crap, is it good to have you back in the uh, States after like what, three years? Two? Two, two, two Way too long, that's for sure. Yeah, too long is right. Fine. Welcome back. It's gonna be one of those power tour days where we roll into some motel somewhere at 11 p.m. We got Joe in the Galaxy, Mike in the Mustang, Troy in the truck here, and of course, Bill in the pool. He's challenger. Alright, here we go. Absolute last minute power tour 2022. I will try my best to film this, but I've always had a policy since the first time we filmed it in 2017 that I don't bring a camera on power tour because it makes it way less enjoyable. So I'm gonna give you guys highlights and any cool fixing stuff, breaking stuff we do throughout. For now, four hour drive. Starting with Dylan driving backwards. So, the Eagle's quiet, right? Well, the Concorde, that's, that's not me, that's Dylan. The Concorde is dead silent. You can't hear a thing. I have no idea if it's running on all the cylinders. I have no idea if it's running. It's, it, you just, you kind of feel the pedal resistance and you proceed forward, more or less. That's, that's it. Holy crap, this thing's quiet. And with that, we rode off into the sunset towards Memphis, Tennessee. One thing I did forget to mention was that the Concorde started this trip at 66,000 miles even. If you guys have never been on Power Tour before, I seriously suggest going on a couple days. The best part is not the venue at all, but rather the drive between stops. All right, just like that, we got two hours done. Time to stop for fuel. That's it, okay. He just used 8.26. I used 3.9. It was 101 miles. 
since the last fill up for four gallons, 20 miles a gallon. No, 25 miles a gallon. 101 divided by 8.2, 12.3. Add a little red, 25. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. This might offset driving the diesel all the way down here with the satellite behind it. But at first, I wanted to fix the belt squeal when you first start it. But it's the only indication that my car is running, so it needs to stay. All right, 25 miles a gallon, the last two hours, let's get it done. It wasn't 20 minutes later before we had to run into a big group of friends of ours just down the road. This is probably one of my favorite aspects of Power Tour. Every gas station for the next five days is a car show. And at this one, we found our buddy Sean from Sweaty Speed Shop, Jacob Davis and his service truck, and of course the guys from Spider Garage with their badass LS Swap Monza. <laughs> After catching up with everyone for a bit, we hopped back in our 115 degree cars, put the hammer down, and made it to our hotel. We did her. We are in. We made it. Uh, we made Memphis. It. So I don't know. Memphis. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna both, shower. Yep. Drink a half warm the beer. Sh the shirt is is this stuck. Is to, I actually have fabric of, is skin now. It's a part of us. Yeah. 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 As you can tell, we were completely sapped for energy, so we just decided to call in a night and we'd pick things up in the morning. Uh, all right, let's let the camera warm up. This is how humid it is. The freaking screen even fogged over. The plastic did. Good morning, Kevin. Your lens looks awfully uh, foggy. Foggy. How's <laughs> yours? Uh, also foggy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like 10 minutes. It's uh, so damn humid out today. That's what happens when your room is nice and air conditioned, and then we come out into the humid, hot Tennessee weather at 8.30 in the morning. Not right there. <laughs> All there good? There we go. Now we can see. So, it is morning one of Power Tour. Day one. Day one. We got to drive, I don't know 20 how. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Mustang and the Comet did excellent last night. The, Corn the Concord did excellent last night. We are ready for day one, so. Dylan's, Dylan's about to break into his car. We should go. We should go watch that. We should. Dylan, your car changed colors. Yeah. And you got locked out of it. <laughs> What's going on? I would. Uh, I need three hands. Trying to break into my car. <laughs> there it is. Hey. <laughs> yeah, the hotel was kind enough to donate one of their hangers. They just don't know it yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dylan, you ready for day one of Power Tour? I don't, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Hesitation. I was watching the news this morning and it said that it's going to be a record high. Record? Record. Oh, great. Well, of course, it's Power Tour week. <laughs> Why not? Never had a cold one. While we waited for the last couple people to get ready, we made our first O'Reilly's parts run for the week. And after sweating my ass off all the way to Memphis the night before, I was going to see if I could get the AC working. I always just go in. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like Wipers it. are on. I'm going to let you know I don't like you right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely not the way to do this. Essentially, if you see the red and blue caps on an R12 car, it means it's already been converted at some point to 134, or at least someone put the cap adapters on. You can get those at O'Reilly's, you can get the Freon at O'Reilly's, you can, you can rent the vacuum pump. What you want to do is go through and right here and here and every end of these hoses, there's a O-ring. You can get whole O-ring kits for their vehicle specific or just random O-ring, miscellaneous O-ring kits. Replace all those with the green ones. It sounds like a hassle, it literally takes about 20 minutes it's super easy then if you have this is a york style pump these are a submersible pump where the bottom is just full of oil these ones you don't have to change they work just like an engine uh the vein style pumps that are rotary you need to drain the mineral oil out and put pag oil in at that point you want to change your dryer anytime you open an ac system you need to replace this dryer usually they're in stock at o'reilly's just to let you know we're not doing any of that <laughs> no yeah. we're not doing any of that it's way too hot and we're not doing the most important step which is then you hook up uh, a vacuum pump and pull everything out of the system. You vacuum it down and leave it at a vacuum for like overnight to make sure there's no leaks. Overnight? We don't got that time. That we're not going to do existed. any of that since this clutch engages. We're going to fire this thing up. I'm going to fire up the AC pump. Hopefully that will build a little bit of low pressure on our low side and that will be just enough of a vacuum to pull in some Freon. And I'm just going to throw 24 uh, ounces at it. We're going to see what happens. What? <laughs> Turn the AC on. Turn the fan on the wall. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I'm gonna hook this up and hope for the best. 
Someday I'll make a proper video of this. It's just not today. I think it's taking some, I don't really know. Warm air popping through the vents. <laughs> mm, Chris, warm air. Is it, is it any it, different than the warm air that's out here? It's exactly the same. Just as warm. Yeah, hopefully the service more. That'll probably make a difference. I heard something. I heard a, a difference in the chug. Yeah. Matt, is it getting a little colder? It's getting a little colder. Mike said it's getting there a little colder. There it is. Huh? There it is. Feel it's it. Feel. feel it down here, down here. Oh. That's nice. Hey, that's going to be pleasant. That's nice. Right up the pant leg. Yeah. I've almost got full of ounces in. It doesn't sound happy up here, but. No, it doesn't. That's okay. Is it actually blowing cold? It's, yeah. It's not nice it's, cold, but it's, it's better. Nice. It's an improvement. This is not how you do this. <laughs> but if it works for a week, I will be very happy. It's cold. Yeah, it's it's literally cold. You can see it condensing already. That's 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 pretty pleasant. good. And like that's on low. Like we can crank her up. Turn it down. Yeah. Woo! Wow! Is it working? Yeah. We did it boys! Woo! Finally fixed an air conditioning system. Can I ride with you now? <laughs> it's a little angry now. That's better. Yeah. yeah. Just ignore it. I'll just. I can hear the car running now. Oh, I think it got less hot or I think less I'm cold. Colder. Can you hear it colder? Can you feel any of it, Mike? Just like Mike if, a little bit if you were to blow through a straw at me from 10 feet away, that's about what I feel. <laughs> Alrighty, we are finally on the road, headed to day one. Gonna go get in line for registration. Uh, the AC is blowing pretty cold, probably, probably 45 degrees, I'll take that. A few minutes later we pulled into the venue where I saw literally the longest registration line I've ever seen. But that's a good thing, because that means there's all the more cars on Power Tour. Ooh. You know for a fact that dude drives the wheels off that car. Oh yeah. Some old cramps just oh, yeah. gears in that. You know for a fact he, he beats on that thing. Well, with that being said, Let's uh, meet some fans and watch some yes, cars. Know, but not meet some parts. cars and watch some fans, right? What? Meet fans and race cars? What? As far as the Concorde goes, got here just fine. I think I'm going to loan it to a buddy whose car blew up last night. They're going to take it to go get some parts. So, oh, really? Yeah, it's, I, it's the hero for the week the already. The hero car. The buddy in question was actually Sean from Sweaty Speed Shop, who we saw last night at the gas station. Unfortunately for him, shortly after that stop, he stripped all the splines on one of his axles. Needing a ride to go find some replacement parts, I loaned him the Concorde, and they set off on their own little side quest. As if in exchange for the Concorde leaving the grounds, the venue immediately gained a very interesting vehicle. And of course, they were Junkyard Diggs fans. Oh, uh, what is so going on here? This is basically spare parts from random projects that we had. And we decided one day, let's just put them all on one frame. And then it's a 53 GMC bed. Okay. The cab doesn't belong to the frame. The cab, they're both S10, but the frame is for an extended cab. And you just chopped the hell out of it. It's chopped 10 inches. Oh, geez. Professionally. Professionally, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if I'd fit in this uh, hitting my head. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not comfortable. We drove... <laughs> How many hours? 16, 14, 14 hours. hours. We drove 14 hours shit. straight to get here. Yeah. And Jesus. your lower back really pays for it because you got to yeah. slap. The motor is a 72 Camaro. And then the transmission is a T56 out of a Trans Am. It's a six speed. If you look at the wiring on this truck, we had a tote full of scrap wire and we didn't buy hardly any wire. There's like the main power to the uh, ignition is a speaker. Not speaker wire, but the power cable to like to a speaker to an amplifier. Oh yeah. my god! I think I think the best part about it was it just in general the only thing we bought to build the truck was the cab. We bought the cab in the title for a hundred bucks. Are yep. you guys sleeping in this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see yeah, an air, air conditioner. Air we got the generator. And the generator. Holy shit! This is some power tour stuff. I love this. Well, that is badass. I wish you guys uh, the best of luck this week. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it yeah, thanks. I'd say you're going to need it, but I honestly don't think you will need good. luck. We're not rookies to driving nope. junk across the country, <laughs> so. After this, I put the camera down and met up with some friends I hadn't seen since last year. All right, so that was day one of Power Tour. We got a little footage there. It was absolutely hot as shit out today. 
and I have a serious headache. After chilling in the AC for a while, we all went to a Mexican restaurant where Luke ate Ike's leftovers like a bird and was, of course, heavily judged by members at the table. After that, we went outside to finally see his lawnmower carb in person. It wants, it wants to mow, what can we say? It's like, it's like the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was like Good morning, Mike. Morning, Kevin. You know, in Canada, there would still be ice in here. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was day one of Power Tour. Uh, I let Sean borrow the car. He took it to the hotel last night to do what he had to do. We picked it up and brought it over. In the meantime, we enjoyed the venue and met some fans. Got to see some friends we haven't seen in a year or more. Uh, just had a good time and completely cooked out in the sun. I'm burnt to hell, and I had a killer headache yesterday. So it is hot on this power tour. It's always hot. It's never not been hot. It's always the hottest hottest week of the year. Either way, this morning we are leaving Memphis, Tennessee and driving the five and a half hour route up to Nashville. Let's uh let's turn the keys and get this some bitch going because we got a lot of driving to do today. Power tour rule number 37. The bigger the group, the harder it is to get them going and the harder it is to keep them going. One thing you can always do to get people in their cars to get them moving in the morning is fire that shit up and let it idle. Especially got a big cam. I don't, so I literally had to start the car and start doing circles in the parking lot. Looks like we're about ready to get out of here. Hi. What's up, guys? Hi. I'm sweating. It's hot. Eventually, we got everyone up and moving, and we finally hit the road for about half a mile before Luke had a pullover because he had a vacuum leak. I don't know. It's just got a whistling sound from oh somewhere. It's been a good couple years since we've had a power tour with a breakdown, or even really had a pullover. Last year was boring. Well, you I might be next. What are you talking about? You see my tires? I mean, that, yeah. yeah that's so the big I mean. cracks are actually part of the tread. The little ones aren't. You just keep telling yourself that, buddy. <laughs> I heard it screaming and it stopped. Did you find it? It was. He's backed out. Oh, really? Yeah, I put my finger around there. So I try not to tighten them super tight, but I bet you with the heat and everything and the thermal expansion of that thing, they just, after five or six, I haven't touched them since I built the thing. So it's been like five or six hundred miles. Yeah. All right, so Luke is fixed, just had a loose bolt, easy peasy. We're gonna hop back on the route and haul some ass, see if we can catch up to the other guys. If not, we're all going to the same place, so we'll see him at some point. Ooh, a nice bump side. Hey, I bet you my lawnmower's faster than yours, Peckerwood. I bet this time. With Luke, Isaac, and myself rolling together on day one, we probably had the weirdest group of three cars. One common denominator we had, though, was high MPG. Ike's Biscayne had a hot-rodded inline six. The Concorde had three hamster wheels. And of course, Luke's Maverick had a lawnmower car. Even though all of our friends with their big V8s were way faster, we only stopped for gas half as much, so we could catch up to them just fine. In fact, we seemed to be so good at it that despite immediately getting split off from the rest of the group this morning, we took a random detour and reconnected the route the second they were driving by. All right, well, with that, we've rejoined the route. We're pretty much halfway there to Nashville. The Concorde doing absolutely incredible. Let's, uh, let's keep her booking. Go meet some more fans and see some more cars and make some more friends. With our cars running cool, the mileage group kept wobbling our way towards Nashville, Tennessee. For others, however, the 115 degree heat proved to be a little too much for some carburetors and cooling systems. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, do I always stress, big aluminum radiator, 160 thermostat, mechanical clutch fan, and a shroud. That will always keep you cool in traffic because if you go on power tour, you are gonna see traffic. And that is when stuff will get warm. Or just drive a Concord with potentially a bad uh, coolant sensor. Either one works. We've got 170 miles. You use four gallons on 170 miles. That's <laughs> supposedly 40 it's like 42.5 miles per gallon. Well, we've been vapor locking on occasion, so uh, getting stuck in line, getting going. So it's probably like halfway a vapor car, but it's still the air fuel ratio says. 
14.2 to 15 all the time. So. Holy shit. It's like an anemic car, yeah, you know, I, if you notice. Yeah, I watch on hills, you're like, oh god, no. <laughs> it's like three quarters throttle to hold 65 up those big hills. Yeah, it's almost dude. all the throttle. Well, I'm gonna put gas in mine and see what I got with the AC on this time. Right, the results for the Concorde. 8.2, so if you had four gallons, it's 3.94. It's like 20, 21 miles per gallon with the air conditioning on. I'll take that it's nice any day of the week. If anyone's ever curious what the face of true hatred and disgust looks like in the form of jealousy, it's this one. This one right here. This is the face people make when you say that the Concorde has AC on power tour. Especially the air conditioning part, because it's yeah. like 100 degrees, so. Yeah. Gas mileage? Gas, gas <laughs> yeah. bills or what? Yeah, cars. What, do want, what do you want to trade? <laughs> cars. I mean, I, you, you ride mine, I ride yours. <laughs> you are roughing it. That Biscayne is something, dude. I like, love it. We've taken some rough cars on Power Tour, but nothing like that. Come dude. on, you've had something let's, rougher than that. Let's look you? at this. I don't think I've had driven stuff rougher than that down a legal road before. <laughs> no. There's a voltage regulator in the back. <laughs> the seat doesn't touch anything. You got a, a rug on the floor. Yeah. No gas pedal. The dash looks like a desert floor. Good old lazy boy front bench. Yeah, I can't even remember what that came out of. <laughs> Should have seen the seat that was in it. Dude, this, you, the duct tape in the windows, whatever all this is. It's pretty nice. You are and roughing it out here, man. Power it's plant awesome. Is something special. It was using so much oil I had to swap around the PCV valve to the front rather than the back. It actually cut the oil consumption in half. <laughs> I love the piece, the, the piece, the PVC PCV. Yep. Yep. That's awesome. With steel wool shoved in there. I hear a goddamn machine. You know that? 18 miles to the gallon last that, I checked. We are the hyper mile group this year. Yep. 18, 20, 40. Gotta love yep. it. And I hadn't had any overheating issues. Hell yeah. Well, it's hard not to when you got like one square acre of free <laughs> airspace yeah. under the hood. Yeah. Well, let's go get ourselves some food and head into the I'm, venue. I'm starving. Let's do it. Some days you have good days and some days you have shit ass days of driving on the road. It is four in the afternoon. The venue's, I would assume, pretty much done by now. We are still 30 minutes out. But we are far from the only ones that are still 30 minutes out. We're still seeing a bunch of hot rods out here on the road. So today's leg was way too long and we left way too late. Either way, we got about 30 minutes left, so let's get this thing done, please. 40 minutes later, we showed up at the venue to see the longest line I have ever seen at a hot rod power tour event. That right there was the worst drive of power tour yet. At least the longest one and the most heat. It was 106 or something like that and it was eight hours. Okay, personally, my worst one ever was the first year I did a long haul from Kansas City to Newton. It was this temperature of seven and a half hours, no air conditioning. Thank God <laughs> that air conditioning worked. I don't feel horrible. These poor guys, absolutely dying though. So we're not even gonna try to get through that line into the venue, which is about, probably about two miles long. We're gonna sit out here with the other people who said F it, and we're gonna have some beers in the woods with them, in the shade. This is what Power Tour is about, adapt and overcome. And sometimes adapting is just saying nope and doing something else. So right here, two very interesting things. One, a Buick Apollo. Never seen one in real life before. That is Street Rat Garage on YouTube. And right here is probably one of my absolute favorite Mopars in existence. Ladies and gentlemen, Kale from Cam Racing. Hello. You're on Instagram? Yes. You do YouTube as well? Yes, Cam Racing as well. Cam Racing, same thing. You gave me a sticker. There it is. He's got an awesome car. Let's go check it out. Alrighty. So, how much hate do you get from the Mopar? Oh, Scale of one to Mopar. Is there is like Chrysler above Mopar? <laughs> is that like even possible? Yeah. Heard pretty much everything, anything you think of. Death it's, threats. It's entertaining. Not quite death threats, but interesting names, to say the least. An LS and a Mopar. Well, this thing sounds nasty. It handles well, drives well. It is fun to watch go down the road. I love the library on it. It's it is, got a whole uh, story behind does, it. I gotta hear it. What is okay. it? I've seen it on Instagram for years, but I've never 
heard it. All right, so I'm named after Kelly Arbro, NASCAR driver, right? Mm -hmm. He was number 11, so this is his 11 font. I also happen to be born on the 11th. Stupid, but it all works. <laughs> Cam <laughs> is my initials, and when I was about this tall, like a quarter of what I am now, um, <laughs> put cam racing out in some of his old dirt track cars so that's always been like a thing and then i just made it my like instagram and stuff and i don't know it's always stuck around that's awesome dude i love this car got the boom tubes made the splitter oh i didn't see the boom tubes we got the bars on the back window it is straight up like stock car set up then they're trying oh yeah i deleted the side markers and put those plates on there <laughs> this is a original slant six car but original hemi orange car huh. it's a high impact color on a six cylinder they didn't do that often so. that is unique well thank you for showing us the car sir follow us like you said follow him on instagram and youtube and whatnot all of it how old are you 18, 18 just 18 turned 18. years old good lord kids <laughs> these days look at him go all right looks like our lines Pretty much gone, so we might try to sneak in and do what we gotta do inside. Sometimes patience is all you need to get through a, a little problem in that power tour. Just wait for everyone to leave and you can drive right in at 40 mile an hour. Ooh, big revy boom boom tunnel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them have it. Hi, whoever that was. What did we learn today? Uh, as I've always preached, cooling system is number one. Don't let your car get hot. Do everything you can at least to prevent it from getting hot. Number two, I might prioritize working AC above like uh, tires and everything else. Like, holy shit, that's incredible. Either way, we're here and I've apparently decided to just drive into the vendor parking. <laughs> the best part about power tour after five o'clock is it's, it's a free for all. Basically, you just drive wherever the hell you want and no one says anything. So we've decided this is our spot. This is the Ike and Kevin uh, display. <laughs> yeah, it's a good display. It is. Well, we're here way later than we intended to be, but that is okay. Because we're helping people out. We got a fan back here, his name's James, and his car burnt out a set of points. So we're gonna drag him out of here before they get yelled at. And get him, get him set, drive on the road. This is the power tour. We missed last year. Everyone outside the venue at 10 p.m. still just broke as hell. <laughs> is it 10? No, it's 9:20. Oh, close but, enough. Yeah. You got in North Carolina. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock Ike time. Yeah, yeah. Are they installing an HEI. Yeah. yeah. You get something to drink? Yeah, yeah, I actually know how to do real well. I James will <laughs> remember this. Anybody who's thirsty, there's drinks in the bed of the truck right here. James will oh, remember this what? all his life. This night. This will be. Yeah. This will be a. <laughs> this is a very core memory. Experience. It's the night I met all my favorite YouTubers, and they help, and then they helped me put my car back together. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even YouTuber. If you guys are in the Hot Rod Power Tour Facebook group this year, you probably saw a whole bunch of people whining and complaining. But I'll tell you what. Look around right now. Okay, you can't see. But if you could, you know what you'd see? None of those people. None of the people out here complaining. No one crying. No one whining. Just a bunch of hot rodders out here helping a fellow hot rodder out at 1030 at night. This is what it's all about. It's not about some little stickers or magnets from a vendor or getting your little stamp every day. It's about being out there with real people, making friends, making a difference, and making a whole bunch of pile of shit cars drive 1,500 miles across the country. This right here is the real Hot Rod Power Tour. As is tradition, we've got an hour and a half drive to our hotel because we're doing half the route tonight. And it's already 9.52. Let's get her done. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Oh, okay, thank God. All right, so there were some curves and I couldn't film it, but the Concorde just rolled through all sixes on the odometer. Well, mayor of the hotel. Are you to bed? <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm ready to go sleep. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so bad. Good night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, Luke. Oh, breakfast. Well, actually, this is a... I lost my zip ties, among other things, this trip. So... Um. <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. And so, like, when it gets to, like, 95 degrees, it starts to, like, vapor lock, because I got to run it to... Where did that come from? There's a lighter on my intake. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't mine. Wow. They really did almost die. Oh my god. Oh, uh, anyway, I don't know. This fuel line sitting right on the valve cover is like probably causing a problem. So I'm at like 2 psi. 
I don't know. I was like, maybe I was looking for anything. I got an old like ripped up shirt, but I was like, I kind of might use that as an oil rag. But you know what I can't use as an oil rag is these. I don't even know what they are. Biscuits. They're very muffins. insulative. I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah. See, so I'm thinking if I just drive down the road like that. That'll keep the heat off that fuel line. Look how nice it is now. Right off the valve cover, I it'll bet it'll be fine. It'll smell great, too. I it probably will. I see a problem here. You're no. inviting the rodents to your fuel line. <laughs> 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 yeah, put the lighter back. <laughs> Maybe whoever left that will pick it up. Pick oh, it up okay. today. I'm more so worried about that getting hot and exploding. Oh, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All ready to go. Ooh. Check your wolf. Mm. Oh, I haven't, I haven't looked at that. Luke's got his biscuits in his car. Everyone else has got their buns in theirs. It is time to head towards Dylan's place, actually. Uh, we drove about an hour and a half last night to get to where we are now. And we're going to run by Dylan's place and shoot the little outro for the satellite video. And then we'll be back on the road heading towards Hoover, I believe. Got everyone in tow. Things are going good. We'll see you when we're there. Whoops, I had the AC on. All right, so the satellite's offloaded. You did a big old burnout with that. You can check that out in that video. For now, we're gonna hop on the highway. Uh, we're skipping the route today since it's already 11 and we wanna get there. We can get some lunch and then head on down to, I think, Hoover. They got all the good stuff down in Tennessee. Look at all these cars. Everywhere you go, just old, oh, shit, I didn't even see the ones right in front of them. Damn. Here I am in a Concorde. A Concorde that is treating me excellent, by the way. I think I do need to top off the Freon, though. My AC rent is due. After a bit of a drive, we stopped at one of Dylan's favorite spots for lunch and had some good old Southern cooking. Well, we got some lunch. I threw in another can of refrigerant. And oh boy, she's chilly now. 90 miles the venue. Ready? Ah, oh, you're right. Sorry. Let me just, let me, let me just. Hey, here's your souvenir. It fell off my car. Oh, you want it. You that's actually part of the satellite. You might need it. All right, all right, all right. Got me some caffeine. Feel a little better now. AC is still kicking strong. Good radio stations over here. We, uh, we got some temp on the thing today. I think the sensor works. This car just runs obscenely cool. I had to guess the thermostat's stuck open. I'm honestly not sure. We got about, I don't know, 25 minutes to go before we're at the venue, so let's keep booking. If you've never done Power Tour before, you should know that there's basically two options for driving to the venue each day. There is the designated route that all the cars take, and of course, the direct route on the highway. Usually we do the route, but this year the venues were so far apart, we did a lot of highway, and we definitely weren't alone. God damn, it's so hot out today. Even I'm starting to vapor lock a little bit back there at the stoplight. It sounds like we're about to the venue because I see a bunch of cars, so let's head on in. I go see him real quick. If you want a nice cold brewski, head on behind the eBay Motors main stage and go visit the crew at Brock Scam Brewing Company. Are you that YouTuber? You oh my gosh. Are you that YouTuber? Oh, Are, you that, Are you that YouTuber? It's supposed to be Ike's moment, not yours. <laughs> Hey, isn't he that YouTuber? Hey, you're that YouTuber. Uh, uh, hey, guys. Y'all are famous. YouTuber. You're famous. Touch him. Touch, Touch him. Touch him. <laughs> One of us. One of us. I think we scared him away. <laughs> How's your day going, Dylan? It's better than yesterday. Yeah. Today was fun starting out with the burnout. Now it's just really nice. That was a hell of a burnout. If you guys want to see that, go to uh, you got it? You good? last week's video right here. I, I risked it literally for the biscuit. To the point where I, I I still have a cough after that. I still am coughing from him. Ooh, that's a man we all know. You there by the trash can? Yes. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm hot. I'm fat and I'm bearded. So I'll drink to that. <laughs> I'm still here. How's tour going for you? Austin, everyone, by the way, from uh, Lucor Automotive. He bought the uh, Capri the Ford from Capri. us. Yes. And now you have like four of them and no progress on the white one. No yeah, progress. well, I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> say no progress. We took it further apart. Oh, okay. So, so there's progress. Yeah, there's, there's progress. It's, uh, we didn't really understand quite what we were getting into. I Probably. didn't at all, so that's why you got it. Yeah, 
So we had more of an idea than you did. Yes. But uh, unfortunately, the, the gentleman that cut it apart, when he cut it apart, he cut off where the, the strut rods go or the caster rods go, the core support, all that stuff, it's all gone. And he cut it off with a plasma torch, which, okay, that's kind of annoying, but whatever. The problem is to be able to run in the class that it's supposed to be in, it has to have all that, and we can't just replace it with like tubular stuff. So uh, I gotta so buy to another find car one. to lop that portion of the nose off of to graft it on. I gotta go to Canada to get a car. Oh, you still have to. Yeah. So is that number five? We don't really talk about numbers. It's weird because it's a very international car. There's not a lot of yeah. Americans that like it, but if they do, they remember them from like, oh, it's like the AMX. Yeah. Like, I, I remember those, one of those from since the 80s. Yes, oh, it's I get exactly that in the Eagle. Thing. I get that so much. It's the same thing. I, I remember those cars when I was in high school, which is cool. Well, you need a beer, sir? Sure. Let's go have a beer. Yeah. We'll catch you guys later. even did that down here. Well, let's go find ourselves a hotel room. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Just kidding, everybody wake back up. We, uh, we're trying to head down to another motel a little ways down the road. My damn wiper blade keeps falling off. So finally, for the first time, we've stopped on the side of the interstate. All I had was stickers. So uh, yeah, Solomon, we'll see how well your stickers work for holding on blades. Let's try it again. All right, that seems to have fixed that. Onward. Good morning everyone. It's day four, ouch. Which means it's finally time for me to put my Hot Rod Power Tour stickers on. Woo, it only took me four days to get registered, but whatever. Ike and I stayed in a $90 hotel last night, which arguably has been the best one of the trip. I don't really know how that adds up, but there we go. This morning we are going to the Wellborn Muscle Car Museum, so we're gonna go see a bunch of Chryslers and cool stuff they got over there. And then we'll be on the road to Pensacola, Florida. I've never been to Florida. Uh, excited to see exactly how unbelievably wild the place is. Hopefully we'll see some gators while we're out there. Some gators? Yeah. I think we should go down to the beach this afternoon at some point. We're only like 20 miles away. Sounds good to me. I've never been to the Gulf. Yeah, the guy asked me how much I gave for the car. I told him 175 bucks. He's like, I'll give you 200. <laughs> That's our fourth gas fill up of the trip. Is it? If I even? I don't even four? know. It might even only know. be the third. Usually it's like four by two the second day. Yeah, but these are fuel efficient yeah. muscle cars. Oh, they're cars. <laughs> hey man, the burnout I saw last night, yeah, this is a muscle what? car. I'll give you that one. I couldn't even do it. It made it as smooth as hell to ride in too. <laughs> so I don't know what's up with that. Well, I always say we go to a car museum. Alright. Hey, aren't that guy, aren't you that guy from YouTube? Oh, you're famous. <laughs> God damn. This place is freaking wild. Not the real car, but a replication of it, of, of it, even though it never existed. In fact, you can, you can see this right on top of the vinyl.
Well, that place was wild. Thank you, Tim, for opening that up for everyone to see. That was really neat. At this point, we are going to hop on the interstate today and just make it down to the next spot on the route. We are still yet to get to somewhere at a decent time. So let's see if today's the day. Might go down to the beach this afternoon, see what that's about. Ladies and gentlemen, the Concord now has 67,000 miles in the hands of its fourth owner, and it's doing great. I learned something about AMCs on this trip. There's not a lot of them, so when another fan sees you driving one, they get pretty excited. Out of the small handful that were on Power Tour, there was one that absolutely stood out. The one that was hit by a dump truck on the first day, yet still hauling ass. Woo! Sure is hot when you turn the AC off. Oh man, I just, I was just thinking to myself, how dumb am I? I was thinking, I need to get Kevin one of these because I know he's miserable in that car and then all of a sudden I turned and the windows are up. I completely <laughs> forgot you had AC. I hate you right now. <laughs> but for a minute there you didn't. <laughs> Let's go get some food and get back on the road, eh? Well, we stopped because we saw these guys who we've been traveling on and off with all day. I was hoping to get some caffeine, but uh, I don't think there's anything in there, so we're going to go explore it. This gas station doesn't look that old. It really doesn't. It looks like they just... I've been in worse ones that are still over. Yes! The selection of this gas station is it's it's quite bad. Bad. Oh look, there's some Nesquik. Nice. Those cigarettes we can rank people on the burnouts tonight. <laughs> oh my Dude, God. that's brilliant. You got a point one. That sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a giant thing of wasps. Man, you know they've been closed a while when, a, when the breakfast used to cost $3.99. Yeah, man. Holy shit. Hi, what were you guys doing, uh, ordering today? Uh, can I get a number two yeah, with here, here salsa? Oh, I think I had, can I get some salsa with that? Some salsa? salsa. Um, what can I touch without getting a disease? <laughs> Actually, oh, sweet. I will take the southern smothered biscuit platter, please. Ah, luckily we have those in the back. <laughs> I'll be right out with your meal, sir. Well, no offense to that place, but I'm giving them a terrible Yelp review on their customer service. That breakfast almost was terrible. Oh, we're gonna turn the AC off before we start it because it's not strong enough. Foot down, crank until the belt squeals. There we go. On the road. Rule number 386 a high rod power tour. Always fill up on water and ice right before you go into the venue. We got that done. Let's make it to the venue. I think we got about 50 miles left. On the way to Pensacola, Ike started totally jamming out. I don't know what he was listening to, but I can guess. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Florida. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it once again. Let's go get parked. Looks like we showed up just in time. Are you up next? I think so. What's your guess for power? All I know is a Volkswagen Beetle made 44, that's the lowest of all power tour. So I'm hoping for a 43 or less, because I want to be the lowest. So it'll be very weird. I might not even be able to do it. I don't say I'm less than 44. I'm going to say you make 52. What's uh, the worst that could happen? Uh, uh, I don't know. Being like thousands of miles away from home. <laughs> that's fair. It doesn't make enough cylinder pressure probably to even hurt itself. That's I've true. never heard it ping once. So. Meanwhile. I've never heard it stop pinging once. Pingosaurus Rex. Alright. Yep. Right. So what's the lowest number of the week so far? Uh, I think it was 47 and a half or so. That was the Volkswagen Super Beetle. I think 50. You think it's 50? That's I'm, my guess. I'm sticking to my 52. Alright. So by the way, follow these guys on Instagram. They're in the Tennessee area. They do a whole bunch of these uh, mobile events. They are the only enclosed trailer dyno in existence. Dude, what up? got the hard stuff today. You want one? I no, got two of them. I'm good, I got juice. <laughs> I got a water. <laughs> I am going to guess 
39. 39. 39. We're all in a similar range then. Guessing uh, 80 horsepower. 80? At the rear tire. I just said 52. 50. Luke's hoping to get below 44. I'm going to say 80. He said 39. 39. 80. 80. What, 80? 80. Oh, hey, I, man. Okay, okay. You are overshooting it. I, I think the Eagle what, or the Concord might make 80. Any final words? <laughs> Rip lawnmower carb dude. Wouldn't it be cool? I've been waiting for like a big backfire out of it, and then like the whole thing like just explodes. Yeah. What's that? What year is it? Uh, Seventy-four. Just write down lawnmower. That was impressive. 60 horse and 140 foot pounds out of that. No one saw that one coming. Next up, we are going to run the Concord on the dyno because why not? You know, we're the furthest away from the trailer we could possibly be. What could go wrong? I mean, honestly, it'll just be like driving on the highway. Ping, 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 ping. Right, I'm going to say 100 horsepower. 100? At the river. Say 88. 88? I've been driving all week. I'm thinking, I'm thinking 88. I'm that much faster than Luke's car, so. We'll see. That's about 22 horsepower. We'll see. Just like I told Luke, don't let her get away from you now. I won't be able to hear it. So when it starts shaking a lot, someone... When, when it starts shaking and it starts shooting away... I think we're going to do a pull in second. Safety. Right. Keep the wheel speed down. Actually, it might even go faster that way. I don't think it would actually do anything in third. Alright. We'll try one in second, then maybe third if, if it's yeah. like 10 horsepower. Sounds like a plan. I said 100. Oh, you win. I think it just went to like maximum mediocrity and then just sped the wheels up. So we're gonna try third. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Please be 101. Oh, 83. He's getting closer here. to the lawnmower. I like what I drive around on. Okay. 83 horsepower. I, I literally said it's probably 80 horsepower is what it feels like going down the road. And okay. third, and there it was. This could be the loudest one of all of us. Nervous? A little bit. I don't want to be uh, lower horsepower than the... Uh, oh, that's why you're nervous. The Concord. the Concord. Oh, not even the mower. Ouch. At least you'll know what RPM you're doing. I just had to go by vibration and smell. <laughs> you were turning that thing up. Yeah, it, it take the tack and I was going off the odometer. Like, literally, I watched the odometer go click, click, click. I was like, I think that's all it's got. Dude, any guesses? Rear tire, 150. I was going to say 185. That is a wild cat. Yes, yes it is. 
Hello, beautiful. How are you? This is what my car would look like with paint. Oh, I need to get that car fixed. Damn. Mike! I haven't seen you all Mike day. Mike or Ike? You. Which one? Mike. Mike. Mike and Ike. Well, you know Mike what? Both of you. Mike and Ike. Delicious pair. Isn't there, isn't there a candy? Yeah. Mike and Ike? <laughs> Dylan's favorite food. How, uh, how's she riding today? Yesterday you did a grueling task switching from all Adon suspension to QA1 in the parking lot of the hottest day. It was the hottest day. I mean, it's good. It rides great. Uh, Is we it did an improvement? Oh, big improvement. Uh, no bottoming out anymore. Very fine tuning in terms of like you can adjust a lot of things. Fast. It, yeah, like compression, rebound, okay. height. Okay. So all around we have the rebound set to five and the compre or sorry, compression set to five and rebound to 10. So that's what they were recommending. We'll drive it a little bit, see how it runs, and I want to tweak it. I think there's 18 settings, so yep. it's quite quite a setup. Thank you. Seconds to do it. Yeah. And literally, I just crawled underneath the car and just done. Did a couple turns and done. We'll see how it rides. I'm uh, glad we 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 pulled you over to the the right side. Well, I mean, I was already on the QA1 side yes. with the Comet, so <laughs> now we're ready to go to Atlanta. Actually, we're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. Holy shit, we're on top of the world up here. This is a bridge. God damn. Oh my lord. That's the ocean. I can see the ocean. Let's go to the beach. Why are you going uphill? Oh god. Why are you going uphill? I'm trying to push it out. <laughs> <laughs> he almost got stuck like yeah. seven times. I just, I just did the dunes. I learned you gotta put it I mean, Literally 10 PSI or you will get stuck. It's, it's a good thing you got the AMC to pull them out. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I brought Tree all 83 forward. horsepower. Oh, that's what it dinoed at. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you stomp on it really hard and it downshifts, 100 miles. 100. <laughs> sport mode, second gear. Ooh, sport mode, second gear. You know what? As much as this route has sucked, this might be my favorite detour on any power tour. Hey, aren't you that YouTube guy? No, no. <laughs> It goes without saying, the beach was absolutely amazing. It's time to go uh, experience some local cuisine. I guess for us, local cuisine means you wind up at Waffle House and watch frogs draw, well, shapes on the windows. Seeing the last day of Power Tour was actually the longest drive yet, we decided to get a couple hours done the night before once again. Morning, Ike. Yeah. Morning. Good morning. We are in. I have absolutely no idea where we are. No idea. Stayed at a hotel last night. Yeah. Slept like a log. We're fueling up right now. We're gonna wait for uh, Craig and Solomon and those guys to show up. And then a uh, four hour drive to the venue. Yeah, and, and we'll get there early. We're not stopping for shit. <laughs> right. That's our trick today. Hey, the other half of our group. Hey, you're late. What? And the best sounding 351 power truck I've ever heard. Hey, are you that YouTube guy? What? No, that's you, the YouTube guy. Nah, I thought you were the YouTube guy. What are you talking about? Yep. You're zoom in on me. I'll zoom in on you. I'll zoom in more. Bigger lens. What, son? <laughs> you got bigger <laughs> lens. So, I don't think I've even introduced this man yet, everyone. This is Craig Lepresti in the flesh. Real life, it's actually... I'm physical, I can touch you. Oh, wow. I, let's do that again. I don't think we've ever actually met before. Uh, last night, him and I rode together for an hour. He's a really cool dude. You guys check him out. Here's his YouTube channel. Well, let's get these things fueled up and hit the road. What do you guys say? Let's do it. Everything's rolling pretty good. I got Craig here with me. Uh, AC. AC is uh, it's getting a little weak. She's uh, she's trying her best, but she's just kind of blowing air now. So I think we are gonna swing by O'Reilly's and finally have to fix something on the car. Put a little more free on him. Yeah. Once again. Oh darn, our O'Reilly stop compared to everyone else on Power Tour. They're walking in, getting radiator hoses and tubes <laughs> yeah, and fittings like, and oil. <laughs> walk out with a bottle of free on. Whoop, we're good. Let's go back on the road. Yeah. So other than that, we are going through Montgomery, Alabama. Right now, uh, you've got about two and a half hours left. Everything's going pretty good. I hope in the camera you can see how like plush it is. Every yeah, time you hit up, it's like, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. The goods. I put Freon in this more than I've checked the oil. Let's just get twice. Yeah. <laughs> Drink up, little buddy. 
Oh yeah, we're getting somewhere now. Yep. She's she's got wind in her for sure. She's got the Arctic wind. Alright, we're on the road again. And our AC's working. Might have to go get my jacket out of the truck. It's a little chilly in here, not gonna lie. <laughs> we're really, I'll, I'll really take roughing it. it I'll in take here. it, yeah, I'm roughing it hard right now. Two hours? Oh Jesus. We're already at a two o'clock arrival time. I was gonna say, you notice how it's two hours for two hours? The yeah. deadline doesn't change, it just that you're just continuously just, driving for two hours. Imagine if it opened at five. Just throwing that out. Yeah, imagine. We'd be there out there early, honestly. Yeah, shit. We'd be able to go get some food and relax. Yeah, aren't you that YouTube guy? No. <laughs> no. I, I dabble in a couple cars. Okay. No. It's a little bigger than Kansas Speedway. Boy, we ain't no Kansas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that we are not. Well, look at that sprinkler just shoot the, the no. right there. That's real official. Oh, there we go. That's, that's, that's better. I'm about to eat the loudest belt squeal you've ever heard. Are you ready for this? Right. <laughs> That'll do. Ta -da. <laughs> they don't want the smoke, bro. We have arrived. The Concord has done 1,500 miles and brought us to victory. And that was probably the most luxurious easiest power tour trip I've ever done. I think you've put more Freon in it than gas. <laughs> Straight up. It's a good chance. <laughs> I've definitely put more cans of Freon in than oil. Like, oh, yeah, definitely. three to one. As for now, we're gonna go see some more cars, meet some more people one last time, and we'll be back this evening. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I found my way into a car. Not just any car, another AMC, the AMX by yes. Luke Corrado. The AMX. And we're about to go on the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Atlanta. Are you that YouTube guy? Hey, are you those YouTube guys? Are you that YouTube guy? You got the sugar on the window and everything. <laughs> Funny, only I would, I would lose you for probably about an hour, and then you pop up in yep. this thing and you on a racetrack. And another AMC. Yeah. Even As better. is tradition. Even better. Fits you perfectly. Wow, that is some yeah. Ooh, angle like, on this like track. It. Yes, it yeah. is. Holy yes, hell, is. we're gonna die. I'm gonna spill my beer. You gotta give her all the beans. All Definitely. the beans on this one. The problem is this is not a baffled oil pan. And if you if you give it all the beans on a baffled or a non-baffled oil pan on a banked track, all the oil goes to one side where the oil pickup likely isn't. And then you don't have any oil pressure and then bad things happen. My beer is also unbaffled, so it may go everywhere <laughs> as well. You did not see this, Atlanta Motor Speedway. I see a Hi John! I'm gonna go ahead and apologize right now. If I kill you, I apologize. It's just part of it. Yeah. We don't have seatbelts, do we? No. no. <laughs> we don't even have most of the floor. That's, oh. that's why we have this covering us. That way you don't see how much of the floor is not here. Don't look under your seat. It'd be a bad idea. That thing got a Hemi? <laughs> you don't you don't want make sure when I blend in here Ricky Bobby to get you from behind. Holy shit! shit. <laughs> Dude, this is wild! This is this is so steep! Oh <laughs> we're gonna die! <laughs> Holy shit! This is wild! I'm gonna literally slide off this back if these guys don't speed up. No wonder they look like they're sliding over. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> that was way like I've walked tracks before. I've never driven one. That was horrifying. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's do it again. Go faster. Yeah. Truly now did not do that competitively, that. Inch, like bumper yeah. to bumper with a friend right here at 200. You gotta hit the turn like an NASCAR. Dip in. the bottom line and then raise it up to the top. Oh, it gets steeper. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Holy crap, that was awesome. <laughs> this is a good $50. 50 bucks, I should have done this. this I could have done this air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> Big. The front sway bar on this car, factory front sway bar in this car, is as big as the optional upgraded sway bar on that GMA body behind us. It is an inch and an eighth factory front sway bars. And my, it has a huge factory rear sway bar. My Eagle handles like it's on rails. This thing, my these are designed My Concord handles like a Concord. 
garbage. Garbage. Well, that was some of the best five minutes of Power Tour, and I spent a half hour on a beach yesterday. Yes, that was fantastic. That was awesome. That was fantastic. Thank you for letting me ride along. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Austin from Lucor Automotive. Check their channel out right up here. I appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm glad you rode along. And this is, if I didn't mention earlier, which I believe I did, but a reminder, this is the guy that bought the Capri from me. So you can yep. see that and all these AMXs, AMCs on their channel. All right, let's go talk to some more fans. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, 1,500 miles later, $2,800, five or six gas stops, and four cans of Freon. The Concorde has completed 2022's Hot Rod Power Tour long haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you got a good, nice, like, deep-seated taste of what Power Tour is all about. It can go anywhere from the easiest trip you've ever had to, to a trip from hell. Did but you, it was fun! Did you make, is your car here? Did you make it? car parked here. Our Half my car is here. The U-Haul is here, so we're good. Oh, you've been towing. Damn. We're good. Sweaty speed shop, everyone. Who broke down on day one, if you'll remember. And day four. And day four. And our other buddies on day three. Day three, two. Yeah. Yeah. That was, cars. that was my 2017 right there. Heat and all. If you guys want to do this, it's an excellent trip. I would suggest if it's your first year, come to a day or two. Get a taste of what it is, drive from one spot to another, figure it out what you want to do, if this is something you want to be a part of, and go home, upgrade your cooling system, and if you ever want to do the long haul, come back the next year and do just that. We'll see you guys right here next week for another episode of Junkyard Digs from all of us here with the YouTube and Influencer Gang with all of our hot rods. We'll see you next week. Peace.